That was back in the day with you, wasn't it, Lisa? Eh? All that big mullet, curled yeah. mullet. Thanks for that, Carl. Yeah, the old yeah. flames. Yeah. Well, stuff. in <laughs> January this year, Shane Jacobson embarked on a weight loss journey with the hope of losing 15 kilos. But as he told the current affairs Nick Etchells last night, he's gone five better. You want to see me drop 20 kilos? So I've lost 20 kilos in 20 weeks. What do you weigh? <laughs> Come on, uh, I'm 106. What do you weigh? I, I like about five kilos less than you. Oh, go away. <laughs> Down from 125 kilos, it's not just an impressive health watershed, it's a professional one too. But I've gone from being the always happy guy to now I'm just constantly stoked. <laughs> <laughs> and Shane joins us now. What about that Nick Etchell, Shane, eh? Hey? He'd lose five kilos if he had a shave. <laughs> well, he's, he's, he's like me, which we both spoke about, that, that we're over 100 and everyone yes. says that's massive. But for me, I look light you know, at 106. But I had a, someone recently go, gee, you look great, mate. So how much you lost? And I went, 20 kilo. And he went, that's fantastic. So what do you weigh now, like 85? I went, no, I weigh 106. A bit awkward. And was, just stand up for a second and do a twirl for us. Do a twirl. Yeah, and we'll have a look at Shane Jacobs at everyone. Thank you very much. Look at him. Hey? Said I loved you, look but I lied. And, and just... And just <laughs> Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't finished with you yet. Just, just stand up again, because oh, the girls are keen to have a look at you from, you know, have, have a little twirl. D do that? And then stop there. Look, right. you've dropped your pen. Oh, <laughs> You know, I've just pulled a calf muscle. This is going to look harder. Hey, hey. And I'm flexible. There you go, girls. Thank you very much. A little bit of Shane Jacobson for you. What I love is he said the girls want to see it, but I put my butt to you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't miss it. Um, you look phenomenal. Let's take a look at the um, the before and after shots because mm. it really is, it showcases a different bloke. Um, yeah. 126 kilos down to 106. Um, you've lost the equivalent of two car tyres. Yeah. That's, which is unbelievable. What foods um, were you eating and compare it to, you know, how you've cut those out and what you're eating now? Well, I, I've always said that I actually wasn't a big junk food either. Like, mm. like McDonald's and KFC would go broke if they relied on someone like me. But... Uh, so it wasn't the junk food, it was just things like pastas and, you know, and I would eat at the wrong times. Like I wouldn't eat all day and at night I'd, I'd, mm. I'd, I'd just hoe into everything. Mm. But it's, uh, I, I know we spoke before, before the break about the fact that I was a bit like, if I saw pasta or lasagna, oh, that's the thing that. I couldn't get yeah. away from. So it's like when, you, when you're driving up towards livestock on a road and a cow's eating grass. <laughs> if someone tried to speak to me while I was eating lasagna, <laughs> I couldn't get my head up. So I would, my head would be down, grazing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk. So that was the thing I couldn't get away from. So it's things like that, and all I, it's about portion control. <laughs> yes. I think it, that's like, it's like for a lot of blokes at home, like when you're eating your main meal, like you just love it so much. You're not talking about it, but it's, I guess it's portion size. It is, um, and, yeah, it and is. just trying to cut down the the number of those meals that you do have in order to sustain the weight that you've lost. Is and mate, if you, if you if you knew what I'd have learnt through Jenny Craig, you wouldn't be this hideous, this massive. I know. So I, I'm hoping to teach people like you. <laughs> well, you know, I went through it a few years ago, and it, I don't think it's easy um, to change um, years and years and years of bad practice. Yeah, no, it, it, it's true, but I always say it, everything I think, anything that's cliche is cliche because it has been proven to be right again and again and again and yeah. again, and people repeat the information until eventually everyone in the world goes, mm. oh, it's so cliche. Mm. And I go, no, cliche is so cliche. Yeah. It is, and, and it's what Jenny Craig do really well, it is a well-balanced diet, and it just is that little bit of exercise. But you don't have to, you know, I keep saying, I'm not out there doing an Olivia Newton-John film clip, you know, yeah. sweating in a pair of tights. You just go for a walk or just add a bit of exercise. But it is, you just eat the right foods and it does all work out. Shane Jacobs, great to catch up with you. You've lost weight, but none of your sparkling personality. No. Which is fantastic. <laughs> I've, got, I've got to tell one quick story. Yesterday, I just want to say hello to the driver that picked me up the other day uh, last night going to the airport. He said to me, uh, you were, uh, Shane, what is on in uh, Sydney? And I said, oh, I'm doing some press for Jenny Craig. He said, I drove this... Uh, Magda. I said, yeah, Mags, Magda Shabansky, yeah, she's great. She do the diet, she look very good. Uh, so, now you're going to start on the diet. <laughs> uh, no, I've finished it. Okay, so, to the airport. <laughs> oh, those crazy Kiwis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't I do a great French-Italian Riviera no, accent? On one, mate, you. Thank you very much, Shane. And for more information Please. about Shane's weight loss and his plethora of accents, um, go to jenformen.com. Great fun to see you, mate. <laughs> great to be here, mate. Lisa. Thank you, boys. Well, a new series of The Block.